And for the last example on how to use a lens maker's equation to find the focal length of a lens, we're now taking a lens that's actually a very common lens, a lens that we use for people who are nearsighted, people who need to be able to see far away, and they typically use a lens like this, where the first radi curvature, radius of curvature is large and the second one is small. So what that means is that the front a curvature of the lens makes it look like a converging lens and the back makes it look like a diverging lens and since the diverging lens has more of a curvature to it meaning a shorter radius of curvature it overpowers the front end and the whole lens acts like a diverging lens and that's what you need if you're nearsighted all right let's go ahead and use the lens maker's equation to find the focal length of this lens one over f is equal to uh, n minus one times one over r1 minus 1 over r2 and that's the equation that I have, the, have up there as an example. So n would be the index of refraction of the lens and so let's say it's equal to 1.5 and then let's plug in the numbers 1 over f uh, is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over the first radius which is 40 centimeters and since it is curved away from the observer uh, we call it a positive curvature so it's a positive radius of curvature of 40 centimeters minus 1 over r2. Now r2 is also curved towards the left, so that is also a positive uh, curvature, radius of curvature, and that would be 20 centimeters, so minus 20. There we go. Now we have to combine those. So we need a common denominator. 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over 40. And that would be minus 2 over 40. If I multiply both the top and the bottom by 2, we get 2 over 40 like so. All right, let's move over here. We have a little more room. So we have 1 over f is equal to well, 1.5 minus 1 is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 over 40 minus 2 over 40. That would be minus 1 over 40. Minus 1 over 40. And then multiplying this through, we get 1 over f is equal to minus 0 0.5 over 40. And if I take the inverse of that, we get f is equal to minus 40 over 0 0.5. And of course, f then would be uh, minus 80, and that would be in centimeters. All right? And as we predicted, the uh, focal length is negative. That means it's a diverging lens, and it is 80 centimeters. And that is how you do a problem like that.